What's goody cancers? It's Prado G and I'm here with a general collective reading for our sign. If your birthday is between June 21st and July 21st, you are the crazy, kooky, clever sign of cancer. Very emotional, tenacious, about bonding, nurturing, the nurturing sign, the mother sign of the zodiac, period. You already know what it is. People come to us to help them with their emotions and that's only when we got our emotions in check, though. Because, you know, if our emotions ain't in check, then, shoot, we're going to be affecting the emotions of the other people around us. But, yo, shout out to all of my Cancers here. I'm June 22nd. Comment below what day you are, Cancer. I'm right on the cusp um, of Gemini and Cancer. So I go by Gem and Answer, but really claiming Gem, uh, Cancer nowadays. You know, we can't claiming that Cancer, the crab, right? But not crabby, coming out of our shell. That's the energy here. So I'm so grateful to have y'all here. Definitely giving good vibes, sending positive energy your way. I hope you guys are ready to receive it and to exude it back out into the world so that you can receive even more of it, all right? This is general and collective. So take whatever resonates for you and leave behind what does not resonate for you in particular, all right? Now let's jump in, starting with the significant number. Mm, okay, number 14. This came out too for Gemini. So we sharing numbers today, y'all. 14 reduces to five. So shout out to all of my uh, July 5th, July 14th babies. Yes, because, you know, if your birthday is July 14th, then yeah, that's why I showed up. It popped up for you. You special. And uh, 14 reduces to five. So the number five is all about change, conflict, and challenge. I do feel like there is a lot of change happening for you in your life at this point in time. Cancer, it could be creating some sort of conflict internally or even externally. There might be external conflict, but it's like a challenge, a challenge that you are able to overcome. You just got to be able to release the conflict and step into the solution. It's like when you are faced with a problem, focusing on the solution, changing from conflict focus to uh, solution focus, right? That's the major change I feel like here. Somebody could be moving to, changing locations, changing jobs, changing friend groups, uh, or just overall just changing your perspective on how you are looking at life and adapting to the motions and the energy shifts because things are constantly in a state of change in this life. So I'm seeing green too. So definitely uh, changes in your financial situation coming about. I do feel like there could be a major improvement on the brink here, but there could be something that still needs to be released as well. There's some sort of challenge that you're facing too. It could be like um, involving your your food, your health, or just really getting in tune with nature. Getting in tune with nature. That's what I think of when I see green. Also, green is the heart chakra. So make sure that you are moving and maneuvering from your heart center. Yes, have the heart, have the courage to express love, even in the most challenging of situations. That does not make you weak. It actually makes you strong, and it puts you in a position to manifest and receive the outcomes that are more likely desired, okay? And that's what I've known throughout my whole life. I've always been a very lovely, sweet, caring person. I've just always done things from my heart, right? For the most part. And of course, there's times where you get scared to face certain challenges, but it's like release that fear, cancer, and move forward. You're gonna be so proud of yourself when you see and prove to yourself that you can adapt to the moment. Happy Valentine's Day too. Oh, it's the 14th. How did I not realize that? The 14th. <laughs> That's so crazy. It showed up in the Gemini reading today too, y'all. Y'all know today is the 14th. But whenever you see this video is when you see it. You might not see it on the 14th. It still can resonate for you whenever you do see it. Time is just an illusion. But yes, the 14th. How did I let that pass me up? Wow, okay. February 14th. That's today, y'all. We still in Aquarius season. All right, let's get into the basis of this reading for my cancers. I feel like I've been talking for too long and no cards have been pulled. <laughs> let's get into it. What's the energy? Oh, we got anxiety. Anxiety wanted to come out along with surrender. Okay, cancer. We, I'm going to pull one more too. Normally, I do two for the basis of this reading. But since those two jumped out together, I feel like these, yeah, we still want to, we want to, we're going to do a little extra for the cancers, period. But anxiety and surrender, I feel like there's some sort of worry or some sort of stress going on in your life. It could have been something that happened in the past, cancer, that you're still dealing with, something that you are fighting against. And spirit is asking you to just surrender, give up the fight, right? Um, you are protected, but you might be feeling like you're not protected or you're just not protecting yourself because you're worried or you're living in this place of anxiety. You're stressing about something. So... When you feel anxious, it's usually because you are very worried about something that has an uncertain outcome. When this happens, we 
write a script in our heads creating an outcome that is most likely far worse than the actual outcome. So try your best to stay in the present and not focus on events that haven't occurred yet, right? Or if something has occurred in the past, it's like you don't have to believe that it's just going to manifest the same way because it's not, right? So yeah, definitely, I feel like this could be anxiety from the past too. Something from something that's bothering you from the past is still surfacing here. It's like you're going to have to address it in the most easygoing way. Also, surrender came up too. And this is said, this says, by ceasing to resist, you can create peace for yourself. The act can be uncomfortable at first because it hurts the ego. But when we surrender and let go, we free the parts of ourselves that work so hard to fight. Now that you are free, what can you do? What new paths can you go down? So I do feel like, Cancer, you are surrendering. That's the energy that I'm getting here. It's like you are willing to surrender and stop fighting because, yeah, it's like you've probably been going through this fight for a minute. Whatever it is that you've been fighting against, whatever it is that you've been resisting against has been creating a lot of anxiety in your life. So once you finally re surrender, oh my God, the, the weight that's going to be let off of your shoulders is like crazy. So that definitely what this five is definitely representing. This 14 is giving release. It's like you got to release the need to fight or resist the situation at hand. Just stop and surrender. Give up the fight. Throw your hands up. Like, give it to God. Throw them hands up. What else we got here? The basis of the reading for my lovely cancers. We got space. So, yeah, I definitely feel like there could be... um. Hmm, some sort of blank energy here. This is what I'm feeling like. You might be feeling a little bit blank or just needing to create some space here or receiving, like you're moving into a new space. That's the vibe that I'm feeling where it's like a blank slate here. I don't see anything on this card. So it's just like creating space for you to be able to start fresh here or moving into a new space. It's like not trying to fight to maintain your position of where you are currently, but just like moving on to a new space, giving yourself space. And caution showed up here too. So just be very much cautious and um, pay attention to your intuition. And, you know, like don't rush anything at this point in time here. Be cautious of the space that you are in right now. Pay attention to the space that you're in. Because you might be feeling like, I don't know, I'm getting a very dark energy here too. I'm thinking like a dark space, a dark place or space here that you just want to be mindful of how you're maneuvering. And it's just like when you're in a dark room, Cancer, um... It's like you want to be cautious of how you move because you might bump into something. You might knock something over. You might step into something or, yeah, like you might come across something that is just like, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I want to read on this space card real quick. Space, 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 mm. space, 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 space. Creating some room, though. Creating some sort of room for you to flow here. I feel like a space opening up for you as well, too, when you surrender. Once you surrender, Cancer, this new space is opening up for you. You may feel alone and like you can get lost here, but it's important to remember that you can fill this space. What is it that you are looking to fill your life with? Is it certain types of people, a new project? How can you take action towards your goal? The void is only a temporary space and is ready to be filled. So I do feel like there's something that needs to be filled here. You might be feeling a little unfulfilled in the space that you are in currently, but Spirit is asking you, like, what is it actually that you want to fill this space up with, Cancer? It's like, do you want new people in your life? Do you want a new job? Like, are you ready to create something new? But you have the space to do so here. Don't get lost in this space. All right, we're going to jump in with these energy oracle cards. Let's see what's showing up here for the lovely sign of cancer. I love y'all. I really do. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for coming here today. All right, let's see what's showing up here for cancer. Starting off with anxiety, we got, uh-oh, five. That's a significant number. 14 reduces to five. So there's definitely an attachment that you're holding on to, and it's creating some sort of anxiety. It's something that you're not willing to let go of, Cancer. And I feel like it's a facade here. It's like, finally, take off the mask and really step into your most authentic version of yourself, the version of yourself that is free, right? I feel like there's something that's still holding you back from being free here. There's an attachment that you're holding on to that's creating some sort of worry in your life and it's stopping you from moving forward in your journey because journey is showing up in reverse but yeah attachments like attachments can be um 
painful to let go of. And I feel like you could be having some anxiety around letting go of this attachment. Because I feel like you knew, you know that you're attached to something. You know that you're attached to something that's not allowing you to move. But it's like, oh, I just feel anxious. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just so either you might feel comfortable in this area because it's just like you've been doing it for a while. But it's like, don't be attached to the past, too. I feel like this is definitely giving me the vibes of attachments to the past or some sort of past energy or person or job relationship, something that you're holding on to from the past. But it's like creating some sort of anxiety and worry. It's like you're afraid to release it and let it go and move on. Then we got the strategy plan showing up. I mean, strategy showing up in reverse. So, yeah, um, you're not planning, though. You're not making any plans to release or to let go, Cancer. And I've been definitely in this energy as well, too, y'all. So I'm I'm here. I'm vibing with y'all on this. But with the strategy card showing up in reverse, it's definitely saying that it's like a, a major need for you to come up with a plan. It's time for you to make a plan. When the strategy card is in reverse, it indicates a stall in progress due to lack of planning. So it's like you're not able to move forward because you don't have a plan. You may have a goal in mind, but no specific ideas about how to achieve it. Or you may have found that your original plan have hit a wall and now it's time to reevaluate things. So it's like course correction here. I feel like you could have even had a plan or a strategy that just didn't work out well. And now like you're feeling a little bit discouraged. But if this is the case, remember that the path of least resistance may be tempting, but it rarely leads anywhere new. Mm -hmm, that attachment is like, yeah, you might be attached to how things used to be. And it's like, you feel like it's easier to, this is the path of least resistance for you to not release this attachment, but it's not going to take you anywhere new. Don't let the mundane task of life eat up all your time and take you off course. Instead of floundering and wandering around in confusion, put some significant mental effort into starting or renewing a comprehensive plan of attack. This card reverses warning you to get out of the role of passive observer and become the author and director of your own destiny. So it's like, yeah, you could have been sitting around waiting for something to happen, Cancer, but it's like, look, it's time for you to look. You've been wanting to get out of this gate. The garden in the gate is definitely telling me that you're in your comfort zone. You're in this place of beauty. Like it's content. Like you're fine here. Like you feel safe here to a degree but it's like you're also looking out into the world like you know that there's more for you to experience you know that there's greater fulfillment for you out there but it's like you could be afraid and still dealing with a broken heart or like you could be healing from a broken heart something that really hurt your heart in the past something that really hurt you to the core that's the vibe i'm feeling and it's like you could be still attached to that you could still be holding on to that and that's kind of what's getting in the way of your plans it's like you might be afraid to plan because something that didn't work out well for you and it hurt you. And now it's like, I don't want to be hurt again. But look, Spirit is telling me and telling us that we have adjacent possibilities. Look at all these doors opening for us, Cancer. Adjacent possibilities. There's so like you got to look around. There's so many options, so many avenues. That's the vibe that I'm getting here with this this card. It's like there's so many avenues, but it's like you kind of you have to surrender to the process here. You got to stop fighting it. You got to stop blocking out these possibilities here. You got to open your eyes and realize that these doors are open for you to walk through. You just got to take that, take that move, make that move. Mm, excuse me. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel is here too. So this is all about you finding your voice again. This is your throat chakra, being able to express yourself, self-expression. I feel like you could be dealing with some sort of difficulties around expressing yourself, not really knowing how or feeling like, you're having a hard time expressing yourself, but like really tap into your heart and really ask yourself, what is it that I want? What is going to fulfill my heart? My like, what's going to make me feel love again? What's going to feel lovely? What's the most lovely way that I can have compassion for myself and for everyone else that's around me as well? Like just expressing yourself and being able to communicate with yourself in a more compassionate level. Because I do feel like you um could be closing these doors on yourself. Like you might be fighting yourself and it's like, stop fighting yourself. Stop beating up on yourself, cancer. All right. Like that's not what we came here to do. We didn't come here to beat up on ourselves. But I know sometimes we do because like I said, we've been so attached to certain ways of being or doing things or perceptions of ourselves too that could be like really messing us up. Walking away, walk away. Wow. Okay. 
Walk Away came up, Walking Away. It wanted to show up in reverse too. So I really feel like there's something that you need to walk away from. And you could be, yeah, like literally walking away to create more space in your life for you to really manifest the things that you want to manifest here or really take on these new opportunities. There's something that you have to walk away from or that you're walking away from. And it could be really hard for you to do here. Walking away says uh, letting go and moving on. Once again, I'm attachments. Feminine energy too. You might be a woman that's leaving behind or a feminine energy that's leaving uh, a place where or a space where you just felt like, I don't know, either stuck or lost. And it's like time for you to walk away from this. This card shows someone walking away from an existing situation. She is closing the gate behind her and is walking away into a misty, unknown future. This card upright reveals that it's time um, you make a similar decision. There may be something that you're finished with, perhaps a career, a relationship, or a long-term experience of any kind. The familiarity of the situation may be enticing, but you now are ready to look at your options on the open road ahead. In reality, an important new beginning is at hand. This card could also indicate that now would be a good time to let go of an old habit, emotional pattern, or false belief. See, that's another thing that I feel like here too, especially with this anxiety, you might not even be leaving or walking away from like um, a home or relationship for some of you. It could be just you walking away from this belief system and this this emotional pattern is like, you you know how we get cancers with our emotions. When we start to feel certain emotions, we go into a specific pattern and it could be clouding our judgment at times. So no matter how deeply ingrained a negative pattern may be, you now have the power to release it and move on to a freer, healthier way of thinking and relating to yourself and others. Mm. Whether it's time or whether it's in the inner or outer world, this card is telling you that you have the readiness and resources to walk away from the old and move on forward to the new. So, yeah, um, definitely moving on. But it's like you got to express yourself. You got to definitely express yourself in a different way. You have to definitely express yourself in a different way because that um, throat chakra energy showed up again at the bottom of the deck here. And it's like. You got to speak your truth about something. You could be withholding um, some sort of information. You might be like afraid to share your ideas or your opinions. And it's time for you to like uh, really just put away that fear of being able to express yourself. But yeah, like speak your truth. And the truth is love, right? Love is the ultimate truth. Fear is the illusion, which makes... Uh, love possible to experience so really speak love express yourself in the most loving way uh towards yourself too especially when you're going through some sort of emotional trauma when that's surfacing for you or when you're being presented with the idea or something and you feel like you're not worthy for it but you are what else one more card for my lovely cancers we got a woman holding a heart okay definitely this is a feminine energy dealing with uh family or emotions here. So definitely taking care of your heart, taking action too. There's a need for you to definitely take some sort of action right now, cancer. But in terms of your emotions and your heart, healing your heart is really a need for you to uh, get active on that. And yeah, it's just like about being determined. Determined, be determined and follow through with this. It's like definitely coming up with a structured plan here on how you're going to heal your heart or deal with this, um, these emotions. It could be with your family. It could also be dealing with a, um, a woman in your life too as well. Someone that really does care about you, that is delicate with your heart. It's like you might be walking away from this energy and stepping into a new space for some of my cancers, but definitely um, this woman holding a heart is definitely an energy of being very much compassionate and taking care of yourself emotionally, tending to love in, in, within yourself and in your family. Um, yeah, but this could also be a sign of somebody coming into your life too to help you with this. Um, a female friend or a teacher or a confidant who's here to help you with like issues 
in love, family, or even in your emotions. So this this is going to be somebody that's very even tempered, a caring person um, who resonates with you and your emotions. And um, it could also be a new love or interest, new love interest or friend coming into your life as well here in the future as you step out into this new space in your life, Cancer, period. So I'm here for it. Definitely make sure that you are delicately handling the emotions of yourself and your family at this point in time coming up in the future as you walk away. Because you don't want to keep on creating these same patterns where it's like you're neglecting your emotions, you're neglecting love, you're, you know what I'm saying? Because you could be afraid or whatever. But it's like just... Be determined. Be determined and really follow through. Follow through. Follow through. You got it in you. Spirit, tell me about... Ooh. We got the King of Pentacles showing up here. So definitely giving Earth sign energy. You could be attached to an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. This is somebody who is very compassionate. Somebody who's accomplished, charismatic, and very grounded in themselves. Um, they are not too emotionally emotionally uh, what am i trying to say they're not too emotional but they are emotional they are compassionate they do care but they are grounded well they're stable right they don't allow their emotions to get the best of them they work 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 they put in the work to take care of themselves and their family they're very financially secure um and this could also be your energy as well cancer so it's like i feel like you could be attached to this 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 view of yourself here as well and it's creating some sort of anxiety for you but also if you've been dealing with the earth sign a male earth sign masculine energy earth sign it's like yeah you could be attached to this person i'm getting a very prosperous energy here king of pentacles it's like you are prosperous but you got to be able to let go of these attachments don't be too attached we also got the two of pentacles showing up. So money is definitely a, a focal point for you here, especially with this green energy, your value, your sense of value showing up here. This is all about balancing the budget, being strategic with your finances here and your time and your energy. Because as you can see, this person is like juggling time and money here. So it's like, um, I got to come up with a plan because this is not sustainable forever. As you can see, they're on a tightrope. And they're dealing with a lot of emotions, too. Look at all that water in the background. Water is symbolization of our emotions. And, I mean, I see a bunch of waves, like a bunch of wild emotions. It can be a little bit chaotic or unstable, emotionally unstable here. And it's like you're trying to maintain your balance as well and your time and your money at this point in time. But it's all about priorities, prioritizing what's most important. And taking care of yourself, especially if you've been dealing with some sort of anxiety or stress or fighting yourself, that's mostly what's most important. So making sure that you are balanced in that energy first, everything's going to work out for you. I'm also seeing the infinity sign here too. So definitely about flow, allowing things to flow properly. The number eight could be very significant to somebody. The month of August as well, I'm seeing that things could be coming back into balance for you. But um, also be willing to take a risk. That's the energy I'm getting here too with this strategy, with this plan. Be willing to take some sort of risk because as you can see, this person is definitely um, <laughs> on a tightrope and that's risky business. What else we got here? We got the Ace of Wands. Ooh, okay. Definitely potential. You have so much potential. This is like a fresh start for you. Look at this pure energy with this young boy. It's just like, the the mind state of how we were when we were children, where we felt like we could create or do anything, right? This is that vibe here where it's like spirit is blessing you with this. It's like you got to surrender to this energy here. You got to realize that you can create anything that you want in life, um, Cancer. And you don't have to force yourself into it, but just know that it's possible for you. This is an amazing opportunity that's about to come your way as well, too, which is going to spark your spirit. It's going to give you some sort of creative spark or like some sort of boost spiritually. Um, be bold and courageous and optimistic is what this energy is saying, too. Do what it is that you are passionate about, because I feel like you have a lot of passion. And things, you're very passionate about life. So sometimes that could be like a little bit 
overwhelming for you. Like, you see how many doors are open here? I'm getting the energy of like, I don't know what door to go through. It's like you have, so, there's so many possibilities, but you got to make one choice. You got to go, you can only go through one door at a time. Now, you might be afraid to go through a specific door because you feel like if I go this way, what if this is the wrong choice, right? You could always come back out that door and go into another. But now is the time to take action. Spirit is saying, now it's time to take action. Pure action. Be pure too. This is the uh, a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning to do something that you're really passionate about and allow something to grow. To give life to something. An amazing new opportunity that's going to have you fire up. What else we got here? Walking away. Okay. 19 is showing up here. 219. I'm seeing February 19th. Hmm. Somebody could be moving on February 19th. Take it how it resonates. I don't know. But, um... Somebody could also be 19 years old as well. I'm seeing 21 and 19. But whew, with this nine of wands, this is definitely giving the energy of standing up for yourself, persevering. The nine is like almost done. Like you're almost complete with a specific phase. You're a powerful manifester. You've manifested a lot in your life. You've created a lot. But you got to be willing to um, not give up, but know when to walk away, right? That's the energy I'm getting here. Not give, not giving up on yourself or other people, but know when to walk away. Know when to give your energy to certain things and when not to. This is also the energy of needing to retreat. Maybe there's something that could have really hurt you, like, spiritually. And it's like, now you got to protect yourself. Protect what you have created. You've created this version of yourself, so you must protect yourself. Be prepared, okay? This is definitely the energy of preparation. Be prepared to walk away, too, at any given time. 27 and 9, I'm seeing when you divide that, it's giving three. There could be a um a third party situation going on here. You might have three. There might be um you and two other people that you live with. I'm seeing three people in the household energy. Um ask your angels for help though, Cancer. Never give up, but ask your angels for help, especially when you feel like you've been through so much. It's just like when you feel like, oh my God, I've been through so much already. This is the wounded warrior warrior energy here. But it's like you are protected. You do have a lot of protection. You have a lot of spiritual protection here with this nine of fire energy showing up. You could also be very active in the environment or like care a lot about animals' rights is what this card is saying. But definitely ask your uh, angels for help. And then the knight of... Swords, definitely a hero. This Knight of Swords is a hero, a heroic energy, saving the day, swift energy, very quick, decisive, focused, driven, um, defensive, also a protector. That's the vibe I'm getting here with this Knight of Wands. Willing to take action and protect those who are not really in a position of, to protect themselves. It's like you're a hero for people. You look out for people who are at a disadvantage here. I feel like that's what you're also manifesting too. But like, also, I feel like you could be walking away from a specific battle. And it, it could have been internal. I'm definitely getting an internal battle. You're making the decision to like, really stop fighting yourself internally or battling yourself. But if it's external as well, because it could be, it could be some sort of external battle too that you're like walking away from because you realize it's like, all right, look. I have to get my energy back up. It's just like taking a break before you get back out there in, in the field. That don't mean you're done. That don't mean you're out for the count, but it just means like I need some time to rest. I need some time to retreat before I take this final stand. And then we got balance. Yes, yeah, so things are coming into balance for you. I definitely see this. This is the temperance card. So this is all about balancing the dark and the light energies within you, the masculine and the feminine energies, knowing when to be receptive and to when to take action, staying grounded on this physical earth, but also being very in tune with your emotional uh, aspect of your life as well, because your emotions are definitely reflecting what happens in the earth on earth for you. So it's like staying balanced in between both, acknowledging both your physical life and your spiritual life here. But I do feel like you're some sort of earth angel. You are here, you were brought here to restore balance in the lives of many and your life as well. 
but definitely for many others, it's like you're a rainbow. Look at this. It's just like rainbows come after um, the rain, right? And then you get to see the beautiful sight of a rainbow, which is the, the, all the colors in the spectrum. It's like very colorful, vibrant energy. That's what I'm getting from you here. Things coming back into balance. It's like being diverse too, being willing to be patient, having control over yourself, control over your emotions, control over your actions, right? Definitely moderating, moderating yourself, being mindful of what you are indulging in and how much you are indulging in certain things, being willing to compromise, especially when it comes to family uh, relationships and emotions. But I do see that you're creating something extraordinary. That's what this card says. But you got to blend ideas with others. Like you got to be able to come together with others so that something extraordinary can come out of this situation here. Especially if you've been dealing with... Uh, battles within the family spaces strength showing up here in reverse so you might be feeling like you're not strong enough cancer but you are you do have the strength i feel like you could be feeling a little bit weakened at this point like something is making you feel like you're weak or and it's really self-doubt when you see the strength card showing up in reverse it's like there's some sort of self-doubt or insecurity that you have to overcome you feeling like you're inadequate or there's some sort of weaknesses that you're giving more energy to than your own strengths. But be willing to be vulnerable. Be willing to be vulnerable. I know that can be scary too, but that also shows your level of strength, Cancer, when it's like, all right, I'm willing to be vulnerable in this situation to tell somebody how I feel emotionally, to express my emotions, to cry maybe even a little bit, but not like self-pity cry where it's like, I'm weak. But no, a lot of those tears to flow. If they come out, they come out. That just shows that you really care. But maintaining your own self-control too, not allowing your emotions to get the best of you and not hiding your emotions either about something. Being compassionate, but knowing that you're strong, even still, even when the tears fall, because that's what's going to heal your heart, being able to express that. The more you hold that energy back, your heart is just going under more attack and distress. All right, let's pull a few cards from this deck for my lovely cancer, then we're going to close out. It will work out when it's a jump out. I mean, it slid out. It literally slid out. It will work out, but let's see what I show up. I feel like you feel like it's not going to work out, but it will. Light eyes. I keep seeing this. Light eyes keeps coming up. Light eyes and dark eyes. That's that balance again. Light and dark. What are you going to look at? The light? Are you going to see the light through your eyes or the dark through your eyes? What are you going to focus more on, Cancer? Also, you might be dealing with someone who has light eyes. They could have hazel eyes, light eyes, or even dark eyes too. You might have dark eyes and they have light eyes or vice versa. But it's like being able to take the light through your eyes and even the darkness and still stay balanced. Okay, we got letters in the name R, K, I, or J. That's so funny because my name is Ray Mar. <laughs> so yeah, R, K, I, or J. This could be very significant for you right now. Letters in the name for you. You this. Mm, I'm getting the energy of Ryan, Kyle, mm, Jackson, Jordan, Jay Sean, Jean, Jasper. Mm. Yeah, I can't even think of any I names though, but yeah, it says stop searching for the external answers. I feel like it's within you. Something is within you. RKI. Kareem. I'm getting that vibe. Kevin, Isis, Roger, take out resonates, y'all, but yeah. 
Dreams showed up in reverse. So we got dreams though. Dreams are coming up here. It's like your dreams are manifesting. And mm, you have a lot of dreams though. I feel like your dreams are very important too. So pay attention to your dreams. They could be giving you some sort of insights. You might want to write down your dreams too. Ancestor altar. Mm. So I feel like your ancestors could be trying to reach out to you via your dreams. Somebody could also have an altar too for their ancestors so that you can communicate with them. Or you might be needing to create an ancestor altar, but take it how it resonates. It's up to you. You have free will. But I definitely feel like somebody's ancestors are trying to communicate with them via their dreams. Fight for it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Fight for it came up. There's definitely something that you were brought here to fight for, Cancer. This is why that nine of wands is showing up here, where it's like, look, ooh, 95. If you were born in 95, I know I was. This is definitely a message hitting me for sure. But it's like something that you know that you were brought here to do. Um, fight for what it is that you have created. Don't allow it to just go down. Like, don't just walk away from it and give up on it. You might want to take a break from it or whatever to recalibrate your energy, get your energy in alignment if you need that. But fight for it. I feel like you're fighting for some sort of cause. Some sense of integrity. Fighting for your spirit. Because there is a spiritual war out there, y'all. So many things trying to attack our spirits and knock us off from our own, our true power and our essence. So be mindful of that. Fight for what it is that you feel is important. Fight for it. Wow. Okay, one more for cancers. Jane. It says no. Okay. No death or rebirth is at the bottom of the deck. So we got no here showing up. Hmm. No, no. This might be a sign that you might need to say no to somebody or you could be getting some sort of rejection. Somebody might tell you no. But it's like, okay, at the end of the day, you, you're you going to let it end. This is like something coming to an end or something being born again. Something coming back to life. Because think about it, even when we leave these physical bodies, when we die physically, we still, life goes on for us too. Like we still go somewhere, even if you believe it's heaven or hell, what are you going to be doing there living? You're going to be experiencing, experiences what life is. So at the end of the day, whatever it is that you believe is what you believe, but death or rebirth is here. And I feel like um, you could be trying to like really resist this. I feel like you're resisting this rebirth, this ending. You keep on saying no to it or something. It's like, no, 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 I don't want this. I don't want it. But it's inevitable. Like, you're going to have to face it. You're going to have to face it, Cancer, and it's okay. You are protected. You're guided. Just protect yourself and fight for your rights. Pro fight to protect your spirit. Protect your spirit and know that you are protected. Stop looking for external validation and really go within and connect with yourself in the in the higher realms of spiritual of the spiritual realm connect with God on a higher level, whatever it is that you believe your higher power, your higher source is. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope y'all resonated with this on some level. I surely did. And I enjoy you guys being here with me. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you really do want to um, continue to receive more messages and more readings from yours truly. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.